Yo, what is going on guys? We are back with some more FIFA 20 career mode gameplay with none other than Grimsby Town. This is Season 7 in charge. Coming up to the end of Season 7. As you can see on screen, the Premier League table looking very, very tight at the top. You've got Man City in first place on 79, Man United on 77, 71 points Liverpool have got. And then we're there in fourth place, Grimsby Town 70 points at the moment, obviously our board wanted us to try and finish in the Champions League spot. That's what we're going to be trying to do this season. You've got Arsenal hot on our heels there on 68 points. And then a bit further back is Spurs in sixth place. Leicester, Chelsea as we move down as well. You can see all of the mid-table clubs. And then looking at the bottom three in the relegation scrap. Burnley look more or less down having only won one game all season. Look at that goal difference. Minus 75. What the hell. Aston Villa in there as well. Stoke City are in the relegation zone. Leeds United, Norwich, Wolves all just above it by a few points. So yeah, getting very tight at the bottom, very tight at the top of the table as well. As you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the match is coming up. So we've got Man City versus Chelsea. But if you scroll all the way down, you can see Arsenal against Grimsby. That is the first game that we're going to be playing on this live stream. It's going to be an away game against Arsenal. It's not going to be the easiest one to win, but let's have a look at the team. I think this is probably the best team that we can put out at the moment. Bailey's a little disappointed with me. Obviously, I think he is actually uh, putting a transfer request and he is leaving at the end of the season. So there's not really a lot I can do about that. But hopefully we can get quite a bit of money for him. I think he's worth like 40, 50 million. So we should be able to squeeze quite a bit of money out of him when he does decide to leave at the end of the season, start of next season. We are, of course, in charge of England as well. So we'll see how that goes. I think this year might be a World Cup year. I'm assuming England have qualified for the World Cup. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, without further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. First game on the stream away from home against Arsenal. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough one. Um, but yeah, we're going to try our best. You know, we were, we, we've been on good form recently, uh, certainly in the last live stream. I mean, we were a bit frustrated in the last game that we played on the last live stream. I think that was against Leeds and we just managed to scrape through with a 1-0 win. But it was by no means uh, plain sailing for us in that game. Hopefully today's stream can go uh, as well, if not better than last stream. Like I say, I mean, there's only eight games left uh, this season in the Premier League. Look at the Emirates and all of its glory there. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping that we can uh, carry on carry on winning, really secure the uh, the final Champions League spot. It would be even better if we can get third place, which, I mean, if we win here today and Liverpool lose, then we'll jump ahead of them into third place. But yeah, here we go. Arsenal versus Grimsby Town. Match day number 31 here in the Premier League this season. Sanchez Ribas. Playing it with Kubo. Kubo has been a sensational signing for us this season, mind. Here we go. Trying to just be a bit patient there. Sanchez Ribas slips his man. Oh, good, good interception there from the Arsenal centre-back. Not too sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought it was. It looked like him. But I didn't want to be like, oh, he's got a ponytail, so therefore it's Virgil van Dijk. But, yeah, it seems that Arsenal have got Virgil van Dijk at the back, which is obviously going to make our lives not easier. But there we go. The Vecchi cutting in. No, it's Greenwood. It's Greenwood coming in from the right-hand side. Picking up the first goal in this game. As I was just about to big up Van Dijk and his uh, defensive ability, certainly for Liverpool this season in the Premier League. Yeah, look at that. It's a simple ball. And Greenwood just slots it home with his left foot. What's that? 17 goals? 19 goals in the Premier League for Mason Greenwood now. What a season he is having. The young fella who we signed a few seasons ago in January. It's a good start here at the Emirates away from home. 1-0 already against an Arsenal side who are just below us in the table. Fantastic defending there. Arsenal fans looking a bit concerned already in the stands. Get it away. Oh, it's easy. Easy. Pereira's got it. That's it. Calm it down, please. That's it. Easy, easy, easy does it, lads. One name dominated the pre-match publicity here. Kubo over to Cabral. He has definitely announced his retirement. Space for the shot. 
Greenwood is there again. Oh my, Greenwood, what is going on with you? He's got his 19th and his 20th goals for Grimsby Town in the Premier League. You can already hear boos around the Emirates. Completely stunned by what they are seeing here. Fantastic run from Cabral. And Mason Greenwood was just, just there. Lost his defensive marker at the uh, at the far post. And he just slid in and got it past the Arsenal goalkeeper. I'm not sure who is in goal for Arsenal. Maybe it is still Bern Leno. But like I said, they have got Van Dijk as well at the back. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on for Arsenal at the moment. But we are 2-0 up. We are not going to complain about that at all. Look at that. Davis. Davis. Fantastic. Here we go. Here we go. Sanchez Rebas is going for a long shot. Ooh, it's a fantastic save. That doesn't look like Bern Leno in goal. But I don't know who it is. Whip it in. Good punch. Good punch from the Arsenal goalkeeper. However, Sanchez Rebas is there. Oh, it's a block and it goes out for yet another corner. All over this Arsenal outfit right now. Whip it in. Oh, Sanchez Rebas. Lombo Suarez even just gets up and he just mistimes his jump. Maybe gets gets under the ball. <laughs> All right. Like I say, 2 0 up already is fantastic here. Just gotta be gotta be patient with it now. Don't do anything stupid. Don't commit too many men forward. Work well defensively. Just like that, Cabral. I keep singing his praises about how he loves to get back and defend, but he always, always does. Oh, De Vecchi's there. Uh, found over the top. Pui! Oh, goalkeeper maybe just got a touch on that. Yes, goalkeeper did. Puig, not really known for his goal-scoring prowess. I, don't, I think he might have only scored one or two goals for us this season. So, like I say, not really known for scoring in front of goal there. Sorry, I'm just trying to adjust my chair. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Puig with a speculative effort almost, almost scores there. But forces the goalkeeper into making a fingertip save just to get the ball around the post. Oh, and we've lost possession there. The Vecchi. What are, oh, what, are what, are what are you doing? 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 Pereira though. Pereira's there with the save. Oh my. Yo, Book. How's it going, man? I hope you've had a good Sunday. Oh, what an interception that is. Again, Cabral. Cabral just... His work rate, his defensive work rate is unmatched, honestly. The guy... The guy is always there working back defensively. Helping his teammates. Oh, come on. Stay on it. Stay on it, Proiga. Oh. Hey, man, dude, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. It's fine. We all have lives, you know. Like, I'm not going to not gonna judge you for being busy, mate. It's fine, man. I've been busy as well. I'm always busy, apart from when I'm not busy, obviously. But, yeah, it's good to see you back, man. 2-0 halftime score against Arsenal at the Emirates. Mason Greenwood picking up both goals in the first half. As things stand, we will be solidifying our place in fourth position. I think we're two points ahead of Arsenal at the moment. So five points as it stands. And uh, thoroughly in that final Champions League spot. I, f I think we might have to go through qualification stage. Um, but yeah, we are thoroughly, thoroughly in the, in the Champions League spaces. Oh, Kubo. Kubo might, might just be offside. Yeah, he's just offside, I think. I think he's just offside, yeah. It looked like he was offside. Definitely looked like he was offside, but almost timed it. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage. Oh, come on. He's, why, why do I have to wait around for that? Your team won 30-0 in the cup game and you scored a 40 goal, but I'm against the best team in my age group. You scored a volley goal in a 13... Wait. 13-0 and it was against the best team. 13-0 and it was against the best team. Wow, that's that's amazing, dude. That is insane. Your team, I mean, winning 13-0 is 
just fantastic, mate. Scoring a goal, scoring a volley is even better. I just watched the uh, Spurs game against uh, against Man City, and the, uh, the the debut goal for Steven Bergwijn was insane. Like he he chests the ball down, volleys it first time past Edison, and uh, yeah, Spurs thoroughly thoroughly deserve that victory in that game. Got a goal to tell us about at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's the second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 55 minutes played. 2 0. Good vision. Greenwood. Oh, easy. Look at that. Nice little 1 2 between Kubo and Greenwood. Greenwood picks up his third goal in this one, the hat trick. 21 goals in the Premier League now for Mason Greenwood. Insane performance for him. Look at that. Just a nice little 1 2. Goalkeeper has no chance. It's a rocket of a shot with his right foot. 21 goals in the Premier League there, just come come up on the bottom of the screen there. Fantastic. You're facing the best team in... in oh, dude. Nah, mate, you've got this, man. You've got this. 13-0. Surely the confidence is going to be high. Has to be high. Sanchez Ribas has got an injury. Oh, I've just seen Sanchez Ribas has picked up maybe a bit of an injury. That's not good. I mean, Mason Greenwood has really stolen the show in this one, but... Obviously, Sanchez Ribas being the 91 rated striker that he is can always contribute with a goal or two on his day. Oh, good touch. Good touch there from Coman to keep it alive. Kubo. Oh, he's looking for Sanchez Ribas, but he just wasn't there. Fish. Yeah, mate. Fish indeed. Dude, I hope you, uh, I hope you win in your next game in the cup. I'm sure you can, mate. I'm sure you can. If, like I say, if you can beat anyone 13 0, you definitely have a chance. Oh, this is a fantastic ball over to Pepe on the far side. Good block, though. Oh, almost, almost uh, wasn't such a good block there for Marques Dolivera. Almost fell to the Arsenal man trying to, trying to do an uh, overhead kick volley there, but luckily wasn't to be. What are you doing, Sanchez Ribas? See, that's why he doesn't feel like a 91-rated striker sometimes. Honestly, just doesn't. He just doesn't. Look at that ball, look at that ball, look at that ball. Devecchi's there, Devecchi's there. Oh, what are you doing? That's it, keep the ball, keep the ball, lads. Keep the ball. Successful when they'll see... Chance for a forward pass. Sanchez Ribas again. Look, uh, it's not going great in front of goal. I say that we are 3 0 up, but we still want to get more goals. Of course, we do. Like I say, Arsenal just below us in the Premier League, so we will be going even more points clear of them. I think they are two points behind us at the start of this game. Doing too much of it again. Oh, Sanchez Ribas unlucky. Defender gets a block in there. Now Arsenal trying to break us down on the counter-attack. We are doing everything that we can to try and keep the clean sheet in this one. It would be fantastic if we could keep up the clean sheets. Coman tracking his man on the far side. Marcus Dolivera gets there. Not a great header. Oh no, we've been done. We've been done. Oh, Pereira gets a strong hand on that to push it around past the outside of the near post. Arsenal making a couple of changes now. Here we go, here we go. We've got two minutes left here. Added time. Get it away, get it away. Good punch, good punch, good punch. That's it. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Oh, no, 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 no. We've been done by Lukaku. Putting the, putting the hat. Body on the line there. Body on the line. Pereira, calm it down. Don't panic, Ampadu. Come on, ref. There we go. 3-0 away from home against Arsenal at the Emirates. Mason Greenwood picking up the match ball. Three, three attempts on goal. Three goals scored. What a game from him. 3-0. We move five points clear of Arsenal, who are in fourth place. Or they're in, they're in fifth place, sorry. We will stay in fourth place. Liverpool, Liverpool won, so yeah, we're staying in fourth place there. Which I don't mind. I don't mind too much. You know, that is the bare minimum that we need to achieve. Uh, we need to get into that Champions League spot. So that's what we're doing. Just a moment of your time. You no, know, it's a breathtaking performance, honestly. Uh, what else are you going to ask us? 
I mean, give them all credit, you know, give them all credit. They played well, but not, not, not as well as we have been playing. We won again. You know what? There is absolutely no stopping us. Absolutely no stopping us so far in the Premier League. I don't know how many games we've gone unbeaten, but definitely, definitely quite a lot of games unbeaten. Look at that. Edson Race is 61 million. Oh my. I'm only keeping him in there just because I want him to be like competing for a starting position. I mean, him and Mason Moore are both 70 or 84 rated now. I might actually put Patrick Bailey in training just to try and increase his ability as much as we can. Can you see the Premier League table? Yes, you can. I will um, stop this in. Showed it at the start of the stream. But yeah, here is the Premier League table. Man United, Man City, Liverpool, Grimsby. City must have City must have lost their game. They were on 79 points. And then Man United must have won. So they've skipped back ahead of them into first place. We are, as I say, only one point behind Liverpool. Six points behind Man City and seven points behind Man United. With that win over Arsenal, we do go five points clear of Arsenal, who are in fifth. And Spurs close the gap to Arsenal for just two points as well looking down the Premier League table Burnley Aston Villa Stoke still occupy the bottom three positions in the Premier League so that's how it is that's how it is we are we're going strong we're in, we're in fourth place it's all good for us so far we've got a transfer offer for Patrick Bailey oh my god oh my god ah oh, I pressed the wrong button almost I want to negotiate mate give me Give me 150 million for this kid, and you can have him. Oh my God! I know we're we're not going to be able to we're not going to have 150 million. Uh, propose a new transfer fee. Give me 150 million pounds, and he's yours. Ah, uh, why? Remove the salon clause. Give me, okay, one, two, five. One, two, five, and you can have him. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. We just sold Patrick Bailey for 125 million pounds. That's insane. We've got, we've got, uh, we've got so much talent at the right mid, right wing position. I don't even mind. He, he, he asked for a, um, he asked for a transfer, and we gave him that. 125 million pounds is how much we're getting for him. That's, that's just disgusting, right? That is insane. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we just sold one of our players for 125 million. Obviously, it's not the transfer window yet, so. That money won't come in, so maybe maybe it will come in at the start of next season, and then that would be fantastic. And then if we just have like an extra 125 million, I feel like we're gonna definitely make some big transfers at the start of next season. If that's if that's the case, then watch this space, and we are gonna be making some ridiculous transfers at the start of next season. Oh my, oh my, 125 million is coming our way. I mean, he's an 87 rated young right winger. Selling him to Bayern Munich. I can't believe that. Mm. We pick up the win in the sim game against Crystal Palace as well. Kubo and Greenwood. Greenwood comes off the bench in the 52nd minute and he scores in the 87th minute. Granted, Crystal Palace went down to 10 men, but that's insane. Do you want me to discuss some players for you for next season? Yeah, man, for sure. For sure. Like I say, I mean... I don't know how much money I'll have. Depends on when that transfer for Bailey comes through. If it's at the start of next season, then that'd be fantastic. I feel like if it's this season, then we're just we're not going to get anywhere near the amount of money that we should be getting and could be getting uh, in terms of our transfer budget. So I don't know. It all depends, really. It all depends on on, on what's going to happen when that money comes in. Because yeah, we could either have 125 million or what it feels like we'll have is we'll end up having something like 100 or 50 million or something like that. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we can get, you know, 150 million at the start of next season, plus whatever else money the, the team decide to give us. Who have we got in, the, in here? We don't have Wilson. We don't have Wilson. We need Wilson in here. Although we don't play with right or left backs, this guy... 
We need him in here, man. Again, you know, the guy's 18 years old, 70 rated. The same as Phillips, I think, as well. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a left mid. Because I've got Coman in there, who's decent, but he's not like a good backup option. Don't know what else I'm really looking for. I'm a decent, a decent centre back would be good. I don't know why you're getting antsy with me, mate. You just played in the last game. Why are you getting annoyed? We've got Southampton coming up. You're going to play in this one as well. Still five points clear of Arsenal, which is good. Yo, Liverpool FC hero, how's it going, dude? How's it going? Uh, I mean, we are four points now, only behind Man City. Seven points still behind Man United and only one point behind Liverpool in the Premier League this season. So it's going good for sure. It's, it could be going better, of course, but it's going well so far. Let's switch up the team a little bit more. Davis is up to 87. We're going to bring Puig into the action. We're going to change this to a cam and bring in Edson Race. And then Greenwood can go up top alongside Harrison. I think Cabral can come back in. We'll leave Lee on the pitch. Just, for, just to give him a bit more game time. Make sure that he's happy with us. He can't really be affording to lose another right wing, right mid position at the moment. Yo, you're better-ish, man. That's good. It's always good to hear that you're better. Kubo comes off the bench. Scores in the 83rd minute. Almost spares our blushes away from home against Southampton. Race did pick up an injury, though. Let's see how bad that is for him. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. I'm still thoroughly in fourth place. You can see, look, Man City. I mean, Man City have got a game in hand, but Liverpool jump up ahead of them. Joint on points. Only six points behind Man United. Man United must have lost the game. That's what it feels like. Oh, Man United must have drawn. Oh, Bailey has been sold. Patrick Bailey, duh, 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 125 million. 106 million will be allocated to our transfer budget as soon as Patrick Bailey moves when the window opens. So when the window opens, we are going to get 106 million. Edson Race has pulled his hamstring. He's out for about seven days, which is always... It's, it's, it could have been a lot worse. It's not great, but it could have been a lot worse. So we've got 106 million, hopefully. Again, I don't know if like the... I don't know if the board are going to take some of that money away from me, which is going to suck. Kind of got over everything. Oh, man, dude. Well, I hope you're feeling better very soon, man. Yeah, Edson Race needs to come out of the squad. Mason Moore can come in. Bailey, you're just not getting another game. We are going to be playing this one. We haven't played a game in a, in a, in a couple of games. So we'll play this one. Uh, let's get Kabak on the pitch. Pereira on the pitch as well. Edson Race is injured, so he needs to drop down to the bench. I think we'll bring on Sean Lee Bailey. You're you're not you're not sitting on the bench anymore, mate. You you, you are not going anywhere near the squad if you're leaving us. Kubo Kubo can come on as like a centre forward, I guess. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Sign Konate. I'll have to have a quick look at him now. If he's still alive, again, I don't know like what players are alive still or actually in the game, rather should I say. Konate, it doesn't look like he... Oh, that's, that's, that's an M, that's why. Who is Konate? Maxime? I'm guessing Maxime Konate? I don't know, this guy looks like a generated player. What, what Konate are you talking about? Leon Bailey could be a good shout though. Leon Bailey could be good. Brahim Konate, I don't know... Do you mean Ibrahima Konate? Ooh. 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 Oh, okay. I see that. 88 raid centre back, but only 50 million. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll keep an eye on him for sure. He's, he's, uh, he definitely seems like a decent signing. Bailey. Let's have a look at Bailey then. Where is Patrick Bailey? Or Leon Bailey even. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey, what a guy. Whew. Some good suggestions already. Like I say, we are obviously going to be waiting until the transfer window to, to perhaps do some of those deals. But if we can get like a 50 million transfer budget and then 
106 million added on to that, then we'll definitely go for some of those deals. Let's go. We've got a game against Chelsea now. Yeah, Leon Bailey's still decent. I mean, obviously for next season as well, hopefully, I mean, if we stay on course, we will be in the Champions League. So we will need as much squad depth as possible, basically. In order to, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what they're going to expect us to do in the Champions League. I think they'll probably just want us to get out of our group. Smith Rowe. Em are you talking about Emil Smith Rowe? Is that, he's uh, Arsenal, right? Is that the guy? I'll have a look after this game. Pavon? What are you doing? Oh my god. Get it away. What is that? What the f... Blur. That was almost a catastrophe. I don't know why Kabak was there getting his head on that. But that was almost catastrophic. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa is given the green light in goal. Kai Havertz plays alongside Andy Aga. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, first... Yeah! <laughs> oh, what a goal that is. I didn't think that he was going to get there. But oh my God, what a goal that is. Oh yeah, got two good players from the freebies. What is in... What, you got two good players from the free agents? I trust, if, if that's the case, and trust me, mate, free agents are the way to go. I've, I've said this so many times. Like, it takes a couple of seasons, but after a couple of seasons of free agents, especially when you're like a really bad club and you don't have a lot of transfer budget, pump all your money into your wages and then just sign f players for free with wages that you can afford. And it's always, always fantastic. Honestly, and then once you get some of the weird randomly generated players being added into the mix, it makes it even better. Like I say, like I say, free agents are where it's at, man. Free agents are fantastic. Even like this late on in the game, you can still find some good, good free agents who will be good for you. Uh, uh, there we go, Lombo Suarez, good interception there. You're making the wrong one there! Who the hell is that number seven? Mason Moore, you were making the wrong one. That was not where I wanted you to be. Pavon, stay on him, don't let him come inside. Cabral's dead, the defensive workhorse. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Most seasons are shit, but if you find one, it's great. Yeah, yeah, mate, mate. Basically, basically, that that is very much the case. Very much the case. Sign Rodrigo. Do you mean Rodrigo, the striker from Valencia, or do you mean like Rodrigo, the young Brazilian guy for Real Madrid? Havertz. What are you doing? Have at it. Oh, Sanchez Rebas. How are you, 91 rated? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe I just don't know how to use him. I've said this before. Maybe I just don't know how to use him, but it doesn't feel like a 91 rated striker. Half the oh my god, he's offside. He's offside. He was offside, wasn't he? There we go. Thank God. Oh my gosh. He was well offside. Yeah, look at that. Come on. Well offside. Ain't no question about it. Oh, why was off celebrating like that? That was, that was hot in the mouth stuff, though. We just got torn to shreds by Chelsea. Oh, what a goal that is. Oh, my gosh. Greenwood carries on with his goal scoring here. Scored a hat-trick in the first game. Against Arsenal at the Emirates, he's got two. Well, he's got this one in the first. Oh, 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 my God! I don't know, I don't know. But that that through ball through to him was fantastic. He cuts in on his right foot. Kepper can't get his foot to it, and it's just slotted home perfectly into the bottom right corner of that Chelsea goal. 23 goals from Mason Greenwood in the Premier League this season. Not sure how the. Uh, golden boot race is going I think Gabriel Jesus is still on top of the table in terms of that but what a fantastic goal that was 
from Grimsby Town. Mason Greenwood adding to his Premier League goal tally this season as well. Here comes Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba, all oh, pass, almost intercepted, but it is there. Davis, Sam Davis, the young English powerhouse there. Look at that, you see Cabral. Cabral running forward. Cuts back. Looking for support. Sanchez Ribas. Oh, Kepa gets a very good and a very important hand on that to keep it out of range for Mason Greenwood, who was coming in at the far post there. Oh, Pavon, what are you going? What are you doing? What are you doing? Pavon, what are you doing? Show him down the line. Don't let him. Don't let him do you like that. Well done. Maybe not the cleanest of challenges, but we'll take it. Greenwood. Cabral, Cabral, hold your run. That's it, calm it down. Just keep hold of the ball. Don't do anything stupid with it. There we go, there's a half-time whistle. If you're lucky, you can get a good player from a release clause. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I got I got Ricky Puig and uh, Takafusa Kubo, both from release clauses. It's always good when you find someone like a relatively decent young player who has a release clause just purely because I haven't signed a new contract recently. So you go in there, like I say, Takafusa Kubo only cost me 8.8 .8 million and Puig was only about 12 million, I think. So it just goes to show there are good deals out there. You just have to know what you're looking for. Ah, oh, Sanchez Ribas, unlucky. Here we go now. Pavon playing on the far side now, opposite side of the pitch in this second half. Sam Davis trying to keep up with him. Oh, the... Power from Sam Davis, the recently called up England international Sam Davis. That is a uh, poor pass forward, though. Here we go. Chelsea coming back at us again. Like I say, we haven't really had a lot of possession in this game so far. But possession is only nine tenths of the law. Chelsea haven't really been able to break us down defensively. And again, our defence stands strong. That's it. Just calm it down. A couple of passes. Just get yourself into space that's what we're talking about lads there we go green was there mason moore oh ho, ho, ho. my gosh i thought that was going in thought that was going in that was a fantastic build-up play oh Almost, almost 3-0. Almost putting the game to bed there. Coming up to the un to the hour mark here at Old Trafford. Or not Old, not Old Trafford? It's not Old Trafford, is it? It's Stamford Bridge. What am I on about? The Vecchi. He's offside. Ref, ref, well done. He was half a, half a mile offside. Half a mile offside. And a there we go. Short pass back to Linz. Here we go. To Davis, the stalwart midfielder. Takafusa Kubo is playing on the opposite side of the pitch that he normally plays on. Doesn't mean he's going to be any less effective. Here he is now, getting his first touches of the ball. Oh! Mason Greenwood heading, not his strong suit there, but... Fantastic to get there and rise up above the defender. Just couldn't direct it on target, unfortunately. Come on, Davechi. Keep it under control. Davechi to Mason Greenwood. Mason Moore puts it on the play. Oh, Kepa. Kepa gets down to his near post smartly there. Right, here we go. With the corner on the far side. Whip it in. Good, good header from Chelsea there, though. Puig, looking to recycle it. Lombo Suarez. Oh, oh. How is our defender hitting the ball like that? Whip it, whip it. Oh, unlucky Greenwood. Unlucky Greenwood. I wasn't meant to be. Well, Derek, the stats don't 15 minutes left. There we go. Pass it back. Pereira's there. 
Come back now. Hold it up, hold it up. Sanchez Rebus has pulled the men away. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Kubo. Kubo's there! Oh. Fan, the fantastic ball to find Kubo. Had the Chelsea defence struggling there. Here comes Adrian Rabo though. Oh! De Vecchi getting back defensively to intercept that pass that may have led to a goal, but it's fantastic defending once again. Mason Moore, Mason Moore. Kubo. Oh! Sanchez Rebas was almost there at the far post to nab his second goal in the game. Good, good goalkeeping there from Kepa for once. Whip it. Whip it. Oh! Almost, almost. Oh! Was that Mason? Uh, looked like Sam Davis, Sam Davis. I feel like if that was any other player, that would have been on target and nestling into the back of the goal for the third goal but wasn't to be and Padu coming up against his former teammates of course at Chelsea no love lost there as he wins the header Greenwood is waiting for support Mason Moore straight to Kepa and Chelsea have to clear their lines and it goes out for a throw in on this near side taken quickly Ricky Puig here. Sam Davis going for the shot, unlucky. Oh, 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 unlucky. But 2 0, let's go. We've played two games in this stream so far against Arsenal and Chelsea, and we've won both of them, kept clean sheets in both of them as well, both being away from home. So it's a fantastic performance from the lads. Look at that. They had no shots on target, only two shots the entire game. We did come back into the game with, in terms of the possession towards the end of the second half, but fantastic performance from everyone involved. And yes, yes, I will have a look at signing Rodrigo. Of course oh, I will. I've just got a couple of questions about the match. You know what? We are focused on long-term success. Chelsea was not prepared for us. And I mean, you know, we always prepare for the worst, but... It was a fantastic Thanks game from the lads, from everyone involved, really. Oh, oh we got FA, uh, FA Cup. We don't actually have to play because we just needed to make it into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We are going to sim this one. I think if we sim this and win and make it into the final, I will play the FA Cup final. But I'm not. I, I don't want to. I don't want to force it. You know, if we make it after I sim this game against Leicester, then I'll more than happily uh, play okay, the final. I think we're ready for questions now. Hey, you know what? We are we are a pro team. Oh, whatever, whatever. I don't I don't really know what it is they're asking me. We must avoid distractions. Of course, we must. You know, we're on a good run in the Premier League, but we need to stay focused. Stay focused for this game. The FA Cup is a completely different uh, being, to be honest. Is this is this two legs? Is this two legs? I think it might only be one leg, right? In the FA Cup, I think Car Carabao Cup is two legs. Um. Yeah, I mean we'll 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 sim this one. We're gonna make a few changes to the team. Regen in free agent. Uh, I don't know if there was a regen and a free agent. Maybe that's what Devecchi was, because he certainly feels like the regen of Lionel Messi. I think he is Argentinian, and he does definitely feels like he's the regen of um, Lionel Messi, just in terms of. Yeah, he, 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 he was on the free agent list for like 80, as an 86 rated player and he's already up to 89. We're going to put Puig in there. Cabral to Coman. Uh, I guess Greenwood for Harrison. Just swap it up a little bit. Rest some players for this FA Cup game that we are swimming against Leicester. Let's go. Oh! The Vecchi coming in with the goal that wins it for us in the 59th minute against Leicester. So, looks like we are in the FA Cup final. Oh, I don't know who we're playing in the FA Cup final. 
But uh, yeah, we got we got a good bit of money from winning that one. Yeah, like I said, I don't know who we're playing in the FA Cup final, but that game will be towards the end of the season. So we are going to be playing that game in the final, trying to win our first trophy as a Grimsby Town manager in the Premier League. Obviously, we have won trophies with them before, but uh, it'll be all important if we can pick up a vital win at Wembley in the FA Cup uh, final. Let's have a look at how the youth squad, see how it's going. Branco is in there. They're all still fairly decent players in our in our squad. Going to keep them in there for as long as we can. In, until they all start complaining, really. May, oh, I'll make sure of it. Okay, I'm going to deal with your wages so you stop moaning at me. Because, quite honestly, I can't be asked with your moaning right now. Uh, Where are you, Coman? Lopez Galache. Oh, yeah, that's the guy that's on loan. Uh, Coman is somewhere here. I am going to delegate your renewal. Uh, I mean, you're not. You're not. How much? How much wages do you have? You're on 24k. There's no way I'm delegating it at 60k. I'll start off at 30. Don't go higher than, you know, 40. Dude. Accept. Cool. Cool. That dealt with it fairly easy. I'm thinking of starting a. YouTube career mode, any suggestions of teams? I think of Bayern Munich 2. I hate players moaning. Yeah, I hate Bayer players moaning. Can you play as Bayern Munich 2 in this? Can you can you play as Bayern Munich 2 in FIFA? I don't know how to I don't know how to play as like the, the I don't know if you can play as the second sort of teams in uh, in FIFA. Hmm. Maybe maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I've never seen I've never seen you being able to like play as like Real Madrid second team or Barcelona B team. I mean, it would be cool if you could, but I, I I don't think I've seen it before. I don't know, mate. I mean, why don't you go for like a a local team that are maybe not as as high up in the table as uh, Liverpool are? That's what I would suggest. Welcome everybody. We'll Certainly, <clears throat> I like I like playing as like a Premier League team or or a a League Two side and working my way up. That's just how I do it. I feel like um, starting off like an MLS team would be good. Apolog would be interesting for sure, playing in the MLS. Uh, we are... Yeah, we're going to go sim this game. Against Bournemouth. We've been on a good run of form. Hopefully we can continue that. Yes, we can. Sanchez Rebas with two goals in that game. They're in the third division, but it's... Treated like a normal team. Can you? Yeah, but is the is the German third division in FIFA? Is it in FIFA? I don't know. I don't know how many like. I always thought they only did like Bundesliga one and Bundesliga two. And I don't know if the Bayern Munich. I don't think Bayern Munich two are in. Uh, are Bayern Munich two in the second Bundesliga? Yeah, they're in the third division. I don't know if that third division is in this game. All right. So we have somehow <laughs> I've just seen this. We have somehow managed to jump up into second place in the table because we have been on an insane run of form. What the hell is going on here? I feel like it, it's a World Cup year as well. We need to we need to submit. Yeah, look, see. As a reminder that you know that we will need to submit the final list of players that will take part in the upcoming FIFA World Cup for the England national team by the 19th of May. But let's switch over to the national side real quick. Have a look at national squad selection. So that's the team at the moment. I feel like we're doing okay. I feel like, we're, I feel like we've got a good team. I feel like we have got a more than capable team of potentially winning the World Cup. I'm not going to try and win the World Cup. I'm going to... You know, we'll, we'll sim maybe a few games in the group stages and then play some of the uh, knockout stage games. But inevitably, we are probably going to come up against some stiff opposition uh, in the World Cup. Have a, yes, they are. Have a look. Third division is. I don't know. I didn't know third division was. But that's fair enough, man. That is fair enough indeed. Oh, oh I, I was saying that I'm going to play the next game. And the next game is against Man United. This is going to be a very, very tough game indeed. 
could be the difference between us finishing the second and finishing third. Thank you for joining us here today. We'll be taking Hey, look, questions. you know what? We are going to qualify for the Champions League. There's no doubt in my mind. You know what? We are in great form. Take nothing away from Man United, but we are in great form. Can Man United win again? The lads will play well. That that game, I think we played it very early on uh, in this season on this stream. And uh, yeah, it didn't go too well. I felt like we definitely deserved to win that game. Man United, you know, just having De Gea in between the sticks is just, it's just insane really to come up against. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can uh, pick up all three points in this one. But yeah, let's go. Coming up against Man United. We're going to play this one. Come on, Grimsby. Yes, yes, of course, mate. Being a Liverpool fan, I bet you... <laughs> I bet you don't want to see Man United win. I mean, like I say, the first game that we played against them this season wasn't great. I felt like we should have won and we could have won. But just Man United having David De Gea... It, the game always rates, you know, it doesn't take into account how good players are playing in real, real life. Otherwise, it would just be like, you know, the likes of Paul Pogba and David De Gea would not be that great in FIFA. But they just base it off of the rating, so... Hopefully we can do this. A game that could go a long way towards deciding who will be crowned champions. What a match in store. You, you only want me to win because Liverpool, you saw Liverpool were up into second. And if I beat Man United, it will mean that Liverpool have a better chance of winning in the Premier League as well. But I feel like we'll play this one, sim the next one, and then maybe play the last game of the season. Or maybe we just sim the last remaining games in this season. Depends who we come up against, really. Right, we just need to we need to focus on this game. If I'm being honest, oh, Devecchi is there. Oh, oh, Sanchez Rebas has two bites of the cherry there. Oh, I just can't get the goal there. There's a fantastic ball there from Devecchi though. Fantastic ball to find Devecchi rather. I mean, it was a fantastic ball across from Devecchi to Sanchez Rebas as well. So. All around good play so far. Oh, he's onside, right? Please, please tell me he's onside. Yes, he is. There we go. Sanchez Rebas with the first goal in this one. You heard the commentators. You might have heard them just saying that if we win this one, we guarantee ourselves a place in the Champions League spot. And there we go. 1-0. Why is Brazil, Croatia and Nigeria not in FIFA and Iceland got removed? What, in terms of like international teams? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I always thought that Croatia would be in there. You know, having made the World Cup final two years ago, you would have thought that they would still be in, in this game. But I don't know. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh. Ref, oh, almost, Devecchi was almost in there. That would have been insane. Almost in for the second goal. Sanchez, Sanchez Rebas, though, has us 1-0 up in this one. A lot of interest from the pundits in Toby Alderweireld. Toby Alderweireld, retiring at the end of the season. Tahi Chong, over on the far side. Stay on him, Cabral, stay on him. On the pitch and in the room. Keep on them, lads. Don't Keep on them. Don't let them get across in. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, oh, the counter attack. The counter attack. Oh, De Gea's out quickly. I should have chipped him, maybe. Oh, now here they come with the counter attack of their own. Looking to work it down here on this near side with Daniel James. Good block from Marquesh Oliveira though. Man United looking very dangerous indeed. Oh, it was offside though. It was offside. Daniel James just strays offside there. Here we go. Here we go. Keep it calm, lads. Keep it calm and carry on. We've been fantastic. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, there we go. Sanchez Rivas this time with the second. Oh, my God. This is too easy. 
This is too easy. Do you want Tokyo Generate Player shirts? I, I, I leave them how it is. I, I didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> like if I if I have to be if I have to be sure with you, I didn't know you could untuck player shirts or do anything like that. What I do know though is that we are 2 0 up. Sanchez Rebas has been on fire for us in this one. Like I say, sometimes it feels like he's not a 91 rated player, and in games like this, it certainly you know justifies why he has got that rating to his name. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but on the oh. they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Mate, it's I mean, the, comment, the commentator rarely gets things spot on in this game, but the commentator has just got on that spot on. We haven't seen a lot of the ball in this first half, but when we have had it, the amount of pace that we have going forwards and the counter-attack, basically for both goals, more or less, certainly for that second goal, a fantastic counter-attack. Pereira there, first shot, first real effort on goal from Manchester United in this one, and it's a fairly comfortable save for Pereira to make. Oh, look at that, Cabral is in. Oh, Cabral is almost there, feeding it through to Kubo, it looked like, who's trying to make that run through the middle of the pitch. Calm it down, Kabak. That's what I like to see. Davis there dropping deep as well, helping out his defenders. This has been a fantastic performance so far from everyone involved. Greenwood. Oh, Sanchez Rebas. Calm it down again, lads. That's it, man. I mean, they are, we are playing fantastically well in all departments. There. Sanchez Rebas gets just possessed. Bit of a rough challenge there, if I'm being honest, but... There we go, there's a half-time whistle, 2-0, the home fans fantastically delighted with what they have seen so far in this first half, Sanchez Rebas, look at that, hands on hips, De Gea, not really knowing what to do so far in this one, he hasn't really had any answers to Sanchez Rebas, did give that, he did get that block in when it, he did have an earlier chance to go 2-0 up, and he did come out smartly off his line and smother the ball. Um, before Sanchez Rebas really got a meaningful shot it's away, but um, yeah, do know up still. Sanchez Rebas on his hat trick, going to be looking for that hat trick, of course. Marquez Dolavera trying to marshal Daniel James. It's a cheeky, cheeky back flick. Oh, calm it, calm it, calm it. Look at this man. Look at this play. What is going on? And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming oh. up. It's Grimsby Town taking on Leicester City. Yeah, oh, the Vecchi. Oh. Oh! Greenwood. Greenwood. Fours of four. What, is in the game fours of four? Or... Oh, what a goal that was. What, what a game this has been so far. We've been fantastic, I'm not going to lie. I know, again, it's only on professional difficulty, but the first time we came up against Man United, it was terrible. Oh, Sanchez Rebath, almost there with a fantastic passing move. Nice little one-two with Mason Greenwood. Oh, look, Man United just trying to show off now. Marquis Dolivera going to marshal James. Tierney, Kieran Tierney cut, trying to cut back in. Trying to whip the cross in on his left foot. He's opted to go back outside now. James is there for support. It looks promising. I don't know who this is. Florentino. Oh, Pereira. What a save. Oh. Get it away. Get it away. Good. Florentino. Close. Close him. Everyone push up defensively now. Pereira gets his body behind that shot. See that easy option to Marques Dolivera here on this near side, on that far side even. Ricky Puig. Oh. Flip shot passing. Sanchez Rebas just gets dispossessed at the wrong time. Marcus Rashford. Ooh. Who was that? Daniel James. Daniel James cutting in from the left hand side. Yeah, four to four. Four to four. I haven't played. I can't remember what the. Last Forza game I played was, to be fair. Are you talking about Forza Horizon 4? Or are you just normal Forza? Because I think Forza 4 has been out for quite some time, right? Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. 
Oh, oh, Sanchez Ribas almost there with the hat trick. It's not going to happen for him, is it? It's not going to happen for him. Pass it back to the keeper. That's it. Look at that. Daniel James. No match for Marcus Dolivari. He's had him in his back pocket this entire game. It feels like Davis. That's it. Don't get shrugged off, mate. Use your power that we all know you have. Cabral holding up the ball. Waiting for support. He finds it in Kubo. Kubo comes through a quite a few bodies there. But De Gea is able to get across to his left-hand side and make the save. Yeah, Horizon, mate. Forza Horizon. I don't know. That game, I know it's like a realistic game. It just... I, I guess it's because maybe because... The, the main racing games I play are, are Formula 1 and obviously all of like the grip and handling and everything in those games is just insane and obviously Forza is more realistic but I don't know I just don't I can't I can't get into Forza certainly not Horizon I can get into like Forza when it's just like street racing like on tracks and stuff but I can't get into Forza when it's actual like cars on actual roads because I feel like the, the braking and everything is just ridiculous here we go. Well, let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing plea. The well, Vecchi. Oh, he's trying to beat the Haya there. It is near post to Haya. Smart there. Saves it with his foot. Oh, I might have saved it with his hand, actually. Oh, I was trying to do like a spectacular free kick goal, but it's not, it's not happened. Greenwood, oh, almost scoring against his former employees, Man United there. Here we go, whip it, whip it. Oh, I haven't even beaten the first man. Yeah, I mean, I play Forza Horizon. All right, here we go, here we go. Take two, take two. Oh, what was that? Ref! Oh, three minutes added on. Again, trying a spectacular corner goal, but... It's literally the only game in Scotland. What you... Only a game in Scotland, and it's only Edinburgh and South Perthshire. Are you talking about in terms of where the game, like where the game has tracks and stuff? I don't know, I haven't played too much Forza Horizon 4, but there we go anyway. 2 0, look at that, 12 shots, 8 on target. About level on possession, but you know, it's the goals that count. Sanchez Rebus getting 2 in today's one. Man City winning, Chelsea winning, Arsenal yet to play. But I think that that does guarantee us a Champions League spot for next season, so we have achieved we what the board expected us. Hey, look, can you secure a Champions League spot? Well, I mean,. I, I guess maybe it's because other teams might have won. Uh, you know what, Kubo's been sensational for us this season. Sanchez Ribas, an impressive performance from him, of course. Let's keep the guy happy. 91 rated striker, of course, it's going to be an impressive performance from him. We are in third place in the Premier League. One point behind Liverpool. Only two points now behind Manchester United. So it is really hotting up here at the top end of the Premier League table. Oh my, oh my, we need to, uh, I mean we're going to sim the next game and then we'll play the final game in the season. If we sim the next game and win, might put us in a very good position to potentially challenge United for the Premier League title, which would be a fantastic achievement. I'm not expecting to win the Premier League. My main aim was to get into the Champions League spots and it looks like we have more or less done that. Cordero. Oh, everyone's trying to get a game. We are going to rotate the squad ever so slightly. Uh, oh, Cordero wants a new contract. I'll consider it. Sean Lee, definitely coming into the squad. I mean, I definitely need to, like, sort out my, uh, definitely need to sort out my financial situation with some of my players. You're on a 3k wage budget. Let's start you off at 5k and don't go any higher than 10k gotta be ruthless here man oh uh, what 
Oh, come on. Harrison, delegate renewal. Start you off at, what, 25k? Don't go any higher than 40k. There we go. Harrison's happy. Lee is only on 1k, but this guy is a lot better. So let's get let's start him off on 30k. And don't go any higher than 50k. There we go. Jordan Rose, I mean, will delegate your renewal. You're gonna be maybe on like 5k start and like 15k max. There we go. Everyone's everyone's loving me now. Uh, you... What are you on at the moment? Only 4k. But we'll start you off at 10k. Just going through and doing some... Ah! Okay, whatever. Uh, 13 and a half k that's fine. He's got 17.4 million uh, buyout clause though, which is I don't I don't particularly like. Start you off at 10k and don't go any higher than 20k. Go. Carlos Linz. I can't believe this guy's only on £450 a week. What? What? Start you off at 30k, but don't go higher than 50k, maybe? Maybe that's a bit unfair on him, but 30k... There we go. I mean, Cordero doesn't want to negotiate a contract yet. They're not really biased towards Man United. You know, Man City were at the top of the Premier League table for quite some time. Sean Lee can come into the squad. Linz can come into the squad, I think. We'll play Harrison as well. I'm trying to, you know, rotate the squad, but I don't want to risk it too much. We'll put Ricky in between the sticks as well. Hopefully we can pick up a win here against Leicester. If not, it's not the end of the world. This is our game in hand over the likes of Liverpool. So let's sim this one to go within one point, I think, of Man United. Oh, it's a draw. Oh, maybe that's, that's our hope of the Premier League title, I think, this season. Just gone. Yeah, we're four points behind Manchester United there. We are only one point behind. Man City would join on points with Liverpool. We are, however, firmly in fourth spot. Guys, let me know. Do you want me to play this final game of the season? Or should I uh, just sim it? And then we can get on. And there is the FA Cup final that we have to play in as well. It's going to be a game against Everton. We have secured fourth spot, so it doesn't really matter too much. I mean, if we win, I guess the best that we can do is get second. But do we really want to get second? I don't know. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you want to see me play or sim this one it's against Everton should be on paper an easy win even if we sim it but you never know you never know really we are gonna get uh, Mason Moore in for this game we'll put Kabak back in to the squad as well as Pereira and I think Davis for we'll give Phillips a game why not we'll give Phillips a game we're gonna give Coman a game as well okay We've been told to sim it, so we'll sim this one. Like I say, it doesn't really matter for us. It doesn't really matter at all. Three one, three one. I mean, Cabral gets injured towards the end of the game. I don't know how bad that's going to be, but that just reinforces my point of us needing a left mid. Greenwood scores two. Sanchez rebounds with one. It'd be interesting to see the goal scoring table because I think Greenwood is definitely up there. Greenwood is 100% up there. Oh, we got Man United in the FA Cup final. Oh, that is going to be a it's going to be a tough game. Look at that. We've got 178.8 million pounds for finishing fourth place. Cabral is out for three months, so yeah, we're definitely going to be needing a left mid. I think obviously we'll look at Leon Bailey at the start of next season, start of the transfer window rather. I mean. We might play some games with England on this stream. Depends on how I feel as well. Because I do know it is a World Cup year. So we have got some players uh, from our squad being called up to the World Cup team. And I'm not too sure if I want to actually like play any World Cup games in this one or not. Maybe I'll leave that for the next stream. we put Race on the uh, bench instead. Oh, they're not... <laughs> They're not biased, man. It's just because Man United have got, like, money. That's all it is. 
but yeah, we've got a uh, score submission screen. Right. Do we want to change any of these players? I don't think we do. I feel like we've got good players all around. I mean, we only have one right mid, though. But I don't really know who else. I mean, the only other player that I would consider would be Patrick Bailey. Maybe even for Sessignon. Maybe even for McNeil, to be fair. Let's have a look. Bailey. I know we've just sold him, but he could do us a, a solid job at uh, England. So we might even take off McNeil for Patrick Bailey. But then, I mean, we've got Hassan Adoy there as well, though. I guess Bailey can play, like, either side, hopefully. Can he play either side? Can play right wing, CM or Cam. Hassan Adoy can play either side, right? Hassan Adoy can play either side. Sancho, I think, can play either side as well. Yeah, right mid, left mid. So, that seems like a decent team. Arnold is the only good player. What do you mean? What, in terms of England? Nah, mate. Nah, no way. No way. We've got a bunch of uh, Grimsby Town talent on the England side. I don't know what you're on about. We've got Mason Greenwood, uh, Sam Davis, and we've, of course, now got Patrick Bailey. Francesco Costa wants out of the youth squad. What's going on there? Francesco Costa, where are you? Left wing, Italian left winger. You can be promoted, mate. Look at that, though. Profit, 458.91 million. I mean, I don't understand why we don't... Why, why not all of that is not going into our wage budget or our transfer budget, to be honest. Right, we've got a press conference. We are going to play this game. We are going to play this game against Man United. OK, welcome, everyone. Uh, we'll start with the questions now, please. Thank you. Stuff in personal. Kubo understands. I mean... Every match is different, you know, Cabral has been fantastic all season. It's obviously a bit shit that we don't have him in this one, but okay. we're just going to have to deal with it. It means that Coman is going to start on the left-hand side. It is a bit of a loss, but we're going to deal with it. We're going to put Sam Davis back into the squad. Marcus Dolivera, everyone back in there. Mason Moore for, for Kubo this is how it's going to go. Greenwood is going to be there. Let's have a look at the bench. Uh, that is probably good enough for the bench, to be honest. Like I say, Patrick Bailey. Ah, uh, I just pressed no. What am I doing? Fuck's sake. Bear with me. I'm being stupid. That's basically what's going on here. Kubo. Coman. Not Phillips. Davis. Linz on the... Da, da, da. I was tempted to... I mean, maybe we'll bring on... Lee, or Bailey, rather, onto the pitch at some point. I don't know. But yeah, we're going to play this one against Man United at Wembley in the FA Cup final. This will be fantastic after missing out on a Premier League title this season. It would be great if we can pick up a trophy in the FA Cup final at Wembley, no less, under the arch. What a way to end a second season in the Premier League that would be. Hopefully keeping the Vecchi and everyone else on the team as well as we go forward. Like I say, it is going to be it is a World Cup year and we are the manager of England. But maybe I'll leave those games in until the next one. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll play or maybe we'll play some of the group games or just get through the group stages in this one and then leave the actual nitty gritty into the... Uh, into the next game. The Grimsby, Grimsby, mate, fish, fish all day, Tahi Chong. Here we go, here we go, guys. Look at them, look at them. Beautiful, beautiful men there. Lombo Suarez, Sanchez Rivas, the Vetti, it looked like, as well, warming up. Oh, oh. Where's our, where's our, where's our statue of whoever? Where's our, like, Here we go. Epic up final at Wembley. Let's go. Tahi Chong. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We absolutely done them in the Premier League when we just played against them. Really looking forward to this. I really am. 
Sanchez Rebas forced wide, perhaps a lot wider than he wanted to be. Just calm it down, lads. Calm it down. Don't do anything stupid. Vicky Puig. Superbly read and executed. Oh. Oh, all those plastic FIFA fans. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Oh, that was not the pass. That was not the pass there. Absolutely not. Greenwood, Sanchez Rebas to Kubo. Looking for Sanchez Rebas again. Back to Greenwood. Oh, straight at the Haya look, man. Come on, that's, that's just not fair. Is anyone going to like... There we go. I thought I was going to go straight. Oh. Why is it so difficult to break down Man United? Greenwood. Oh, my God. Oh, how? 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 Ah! Uh, oh no! 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 They're coming on the counter attack now. Don't let them do that! Don't let them do that to you. Please, man! We've just beaten them in the Premier League. We absolutely wiped the floor with them in the Premier League. What can they do from there? Absolutely nothing. There we go. There we go. Again, not the passes, man. Not the passes. What is going on? Why is my team suddenly like, falling to pieces? I don't know if it's like pressure of being at Wembley or, or whatever. But I don't understand why they're just falling apart. Come on, who's there? My God. There's no players anywhere. There's literally no Grimsby Town players anywhere. That's a, that's, that's a goal kick. Thank God. Yo, Book is back. Book is back just in time for the FA Cup final. Oh, ha. Oh. Getting sweaty already. My heating's not even on today. Definitely getting a lot sweaty here. Devechi. Coming back inside. Look, again, that was not the pass, but... Oh, what a goal that is! Oh, that wasn't even the intended target. But Kubo is there. What a goal that is. Oh, my. Let's go. That was not even the intended target there, but I have no idea how he's managed to score that. De Gea perhaps maybe not expecting the shot to come. He's beaten at his... Yeah, he's just gone past him at his far post, or just, just past his left-hand side there. Grimsby Town up and running here. 1-0. Absolutely no idea how we've managed to sneak that goal in there. Absolutely no idea how that's gone in, but we'll take it. We will take it. 1-0 up here under the arch. At Wembley. Let's go. Getting a second goal would be fantastic as well. Oh, oh Sanchez Rebas just fires wide of the far post there. I didn't scout Rodrigo. No, I didn't. Not yet. Sorry, man. I was getting way too caught up with trying to renew some player contracts. And then also finishing off the Premier League in the... Yeah, I will. I will scout him. I know exactly who he is, Rodrigo Goes, the young Brazilian. Trust me, I, I know I know who you want about now. I'm just trying to concentrate, focus on this game. Oh my gosh, Kubo. Is that Kubo with the second? I think it might be. It's Kubo, look at that, pointing out who he is. 8.8 .8 million signing from Real Madrid earlier this season. He's got the two goals. In the FA Cup final against Man United under the arch at Wembley. Look at that. Fantastic. Any kind of nerves in this one from the Grimsy Town players have been completely eliminated now. 2-0 up inside the first half. Man United not learning from their mistakes after we beat them earlier in the Premier League on, earlier on this stream. Wiki, Wiki Puig. Oh, it's a ball through from Chong, but we are able to deal with it there. Kubo now on, on the ball. Sanchez Rebas just holds it up. Tries to allow other players to come into the game. Kubo though is there again. Play it back to Kubo. 
Oh, oh, we are, we are, we are playing some good football today. Davis though, Davis, Davis, stay on him. Oh, oh there we go. First half, 2-0. Look at all of the Grimsby Town fans out in their thousands here at Wembley in the capital city. Here we go. Final 45 minutes here in the FA Cup final. 2-0 up. Very much on course to win our first piece of silverware as a Grimsby Town Premier League manager. Here we go. Here we go. Greenwood. Greenwood has the ball. Waiting for support. There's Kubo, the man of the moment. Coman filling in. Oh, Sanchez Ribas almost getting his shot away, but two players having to block him. So keep it under control. Oh, we're trying to do too much with it. We are literally just doing way too much with it. Excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Oh, no, 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 no. Rashford. Oh, Lombo! Lombo. Motherfucking Suarez up in this bitch. Oh. You saw that, you saw that. I, I appreciate the fact that you saw that pass. Why are you trying to do some fancy flicks, Man United? Why don't you just concentrate on, like, actually trying to do something with the get, with the ball? Oh. That's it. Keep the ball. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Here we go. Final half hour here at Wembley. Greenwood. Kubo. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. It's opening up for them. Oh, I don't know what that cross was from Coman. Almost worked out though. It was whipped back across to the edge of the 18-yard box. Greenwood was there, trying to get it under control. Coman now doing his defensive duties, tracking Tahith Chong on that far side, holding up the, the advance of Man United. Very well there. Davis again back, getting back, helping out with his defensive unit. Look at that long ball over the top, trying to find Mason Greenwood. Oh, ref! Ref, he's completely jumped all over him. 20 minutes now left. In the second half at Wembley in the FA Cup final against Manchester United. Here we go. I am concentrating way too much. I can see some messages coming in. Pereira's there. Pereira's there. He put Italian ultras in the game. Italian ultras, mate. What do you mean? You mean like the Polish ultras, mate? Oh, De Vecchi's there. De Vecchi. Gets the ball under control. Oh, De Gea again. De Gea, I mean, he's just too good. He's just too good. You hope Liverpool don't win the league. Grimsby Town beat Shrewsbury like one or two years ago. Scout Rodrigo at the end of this game. I will. I will. Liverpool didn't win. Or what? In real life. I mean, real life, Liverpool are 22 points ahead. Liverpool are seven games ahead. Like, literally, Liverpool could afford to win. I think they've got, what, 13 games left in the season. Liverpool could have could afford to lose seven of those games and still win the Premier League. They haven't lost yet. I don't think they will. I think Liverpool are just far too good this season. I think what it is though is it's like the chasing pack. I mean, not to take anything away from Liverpool. I think that it's the likes of uh, Man uh, the, uh, the likes of Chelsea, uh, Man City, and all the other teams that are around them just haven't been that great. You know, don't take anything away from, don't take anything away from Liverpool and what they have done this season. I just think that Man City and the chasing pack just haven't been that great. I, cut, I think I saw a stat earlier. It's like obviously, yeah, between first and second, between first and second um, in the Premier League is 22 points, and between fifth and 20th it's 19 points. That just goes to show, like, how badly everyone else, sh like, who we know can play well. That's that's how badly they're doing this season. Greenwood there, shot just wide of the far post there. But yeah, like I say, uh, Liverpool have been fantastic. I just think that it's made to look better 
by the fact that all the other teams around him have been bad. Obviously, you know, 22 points and to be still unbeaten, it's great. It's great for, for Liverpool fans. It's great for the Premier League in general. Oh, but there we go. There's the full-time whistle. Wembley erupts. The FA Cup winners here. Grimsby Town against Man United keeping yet another clean sheet. Sanchez looks absolutely distraught there. Grimsby Town players absolutely over the moon. Devecchi, Sanchez rebounds. Greenwood, everyone has been a fantastic in the FA Cup this season. Absolutely amazing scenes here at Wembley under the arch. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, lads. That's it. Celebrate it. Here we go. Lombo Suarez picking up the trophy at the end of this. Look at that. Come on, lads. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. FA Cup winners. Lombo Suarez, the captain. Coming up to collect the trophy. Kubo scoring both goals. Here we go. Come on, Grimsby. That's what I'm talking about. 2-0 winners in the FA Cup final against Manchester United. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff from the lads, from everyone involved. Absolutely amazing. Look at that, the away fans. I guess away fans. The fans in the Grimsby Town end. Absolutely losing their minds. Look at that. Fantastic. Come on. That's it. Lombo, lap it all in. Show it off to the fans. Fantastic Grimsby Town support here at Wembley. Unlucky Man United, it wasn't your day, but look at that. The FA Cup belongs to Grimsby Town this year. Absolutely amazing. So lap it all in, lads. Come on. That is what I'm talking about. Fantastic performance. Let's go. That's, that's enough of that. I guess I, I, I could watch that all day, but what can I say, lads? Amazing, amazing performance. I need to sim the rest of the season. I think that, that, that was the end of the season, mate. That was the end of the season. The FA Cup is always at the end of the season. Uh, you, when you when you skipped out, I don't know, when, when, when you left the stream, I don't know what time you did leave the stream, but we are at the end of the season. Uh, just a moment of your time. You know what? It's one big step for Grimsby Town. We have been fantastic. Hey, look, you know what? We've got we've got plenty of options. Kubo. Oh my god, what a performance from Kubo. No further question. Did Scotland qualify for the Euros? You mean the World Cup? I don't know. We've got let's let's have a look at the standings. So we're in group okay, let's let's have a look at group A. Group A, Germany, Belgium, Czech Republic, Uruguay. That's a tough group. Spain, Russia, Mexico, Colombia, Portugal, Ireland, Australia, Chile. Argentina, Holland, Hungary, New Zealand, Italy, Romania, Bulgaria, Ivory Coast, France, Austria, Canada, South Africa. There we are. England, Switzerland, China and Cameroon. I don't really want to be playing China at the moment. And then Brazil, Denmark, Northern Ireland and Egypt. So, yeah, we don't, um, we don't have Scotland in here. Scotland didn't qualify for the World Cup in FIFA. But yeah, I don't know if we're actually going to play any of the World Cup games on this stream. I feel like I'll probably sim to the first set of uh, games in the World Cup. And maybe we'll start Season 8 with uh, with the World Cup games. Maybe, maybe that's what we do at the start of next season. We'll get 4.1 million for winning the FA Cup. Groups are so unrealistic. Hey man, England, Switzerland, China and Cameroon, that's... What we need, man. It's good for us. Ah, shit. <laughs> Sorry, Book. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just getting way too carried away with being the England manager. Uh, Rodrigo. See, the thing about Rodrigo is his name is spelt with a Y. It's this guy. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, man. I mean, it's 300k wages. We can definitely afford that. It would make him by far and away our best paid player. But we can afford that for sure we can. 
I'm, I'm still excited to receive 106 million from selling Patrick Bailey. That's that's what I'm excited for. We sold him to Bayern Munich for 125 million, and we're going to get 106 million in terms of transfer budget added on to next season. Cordero is complaining still. We will try to delegate a renewal with you. We'll start off at 15k, not go any higher than 30k. There we go. Easy. Come on to Switzerland. It's really nice. Uh, I told you you should scout him. I know. I, I know. I know who you were talking about, mate. I know who you were talking about, Rodrigo. Trust me. I. I. I have a thing for good young players. Be interesting to see how Haaland's doing in this game. Actually, I imagine that Haaland is still, still doing quite good for whoever he's at. Let's have a look. Oh, they have like the weird fucking. What's his name? Erling. Because they have that weird thing above the A. I don't think we can do that. He's only 85 rated striker. Are you kidding me? He's only 25 years old though. I can't believe he. I can't believe he's not that great. I thought that he would be like up there so much. Kaigo Joe. Who's Kaigo Joe? Is that a uh, player? I don't know. Right, what's going on here? Oh, look at that manager! Award, oh, you've won manager of the month for Gunsy Town. Of course I have. Thank you very much. Youth squad still holding strong. Got a good few players in there. Fabio Ribeiro, left mid. Callum Cooper, right back. Branco. Harrison White. They've, oh, Harrison White's actually gone down a bit. Hey, man. Don't worry, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, let's swim forwards. To the first World Cup game. And then I think we'll call it. We'll call it a day. There when we get to the start of the World Cup. Like I say we'll probably start off next stream. Playing some of the World Cup games. And seeing how far we can go with England. It's a wrap. Halland made it. Halland made a wrap. I mean Halland is just fantastic. You know like. The guy has scored, I think it's, what is it, seven goals in 136 minutes. He's scored a goal every 20 minutes, or less than 20 minutes, for Borussia Dortmund so far this season. He's been fantastic. Like, there's no, there's no other way to say it. Look at all of these players being called up to the international side. Look at that, we've got Romania, Brazil represented, Spain with Sanchez Ribas and Lombo Suarez. We've got three English players being called up as well, Devecchi. Going to Argentina, Maximiliano Rogol for Uruguay as well. So we've got quite a few good international players being called up to their teams. Oh, uh, what? Declan Rice, what have you done? Why is De Declan Rice has been injured? We need to, so we need to search... On, we need to just search for a CDM or a CM. Minimum overall is going to be 85. Position is mid. Let's, let's have a look for some CM. Morgan Gibbs White, Harry Winks. What about CDM? Do we have any? Do we have any CDMs? Why are you telling me what? I don't understand. What also? Why is like Sterling not playing? Sterling's 31. That's why. But he's still 89 rated. He's still got decent pace. I don't know why Sterling's not in the squad. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's let's have a look. Why does it say mid goalkeeper? I want him to be a CM. We're going to replace him. Morgan Gibbs is at 27. Harry Winks is 30. We're going to replace him with Morgan Gibbs White. We have to. 
Declan Rice traitor. What do you mean traitor? I don't understand what you mean. But yeah, here we go. That's the World Cup. Ticked over to the World Cup. That's the squad at the moment. Sassignon, why are you playing there? Sancho, yeah, Sancho can go over there. But also Hudson Adoy can go over there. Rashford can go up top. Foden, Ali, Davis. Patrick Bailey's 88 rated now. Oh, that's uh, that's killing me. But it's good that I did call him up to the squad. We're going to replace some of the players here. Chilwell, Wambasaka, Trent can go in there. And Pickford can go in between the sticks. So that's the team that we're putting out. Looks like an okay team, I guess. Wambasaka on for you. Sessignon, Tammy. Morgan. Morgan maybe needs to get in the squad ahead of Tammy Abraham. Give us some cover. That's alright. That's alright. We'll leave it at that. I can't sign I can't sign him. It's not the transfer window. I genuinely can't I don't think I can sign him. I'll go to my transfer hub and see if I can sign him. Uh Rodrigo. Oh yeah shit. We're getting Saka. Forgot about him. We're getting Bakayo Saka on a free. Right, he's good. He's 24 years old. Plays for England. Maybe, maybe we can train him up to be a good English player. Go as Rodrigo. Let's see if we can sign him. Let's see if we can make Book happy. Let's see if we can get him. I'm gonna try 50 million. I don't. I, yeah, see, I don't. I guess I'll try 40 million. I don't actually have any money. I'll try 40 million. Yeah, see, they're not. I shouldn't have done it. See, I, 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 I shouldn't have done it because now I'm not going to be able to sign him next season. I should have just left it. I didn't have. I don't have money. I, I don't have enough money for him. You know, look. Even with all transfer budget, I don't have enough money. So I'm sorry. I can't do that. I can't do that. So I might have just messed it up. But um, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, like I say, we are going to be playing against China in the World Cup at the start of the next stream. We've got Switzerland and Cameroon as well in our group Group G in the World Cup. Which I think if we qualify first, we could go up against Denmark maybe. Because I imagine Brazil will win that group. But yeah. Mate, my wage budget, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, it's going to have to be, like, at the start of next season is when I'm going to have to make a bunch of signings when I've got 106, uh, 106 million coming in as well. So, don't worry. Start of next season, start of the next stream after the World Cup, I'll definitely look into, uh, into making a few signings in the transfer window for sure uh, to reinforce our squad for the Champions League, of course, going forward. But, like I say, guys, for now, that's where we're going to end it. That's where we're going to end it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, I'll probably be back, I don't know, tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. Tuesday evening, I'll probably be back playing some of the World Cup here with England in 2026. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have all had a fun evening with me. I have thoroughly appreciate all your support as well. So, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one, guys.